I tend to have ideas or areas that are interesting to me that kind of circulate in my head for a while and, and when I sit down to start something new, it, it, it comes to the fore. Some other idea draws it out. I mean, in the case of while we're young, I wanted to make something about couples for a while, but I, I couldn't find the right story or the right way. And I think musings on middle age or, you know, started to make that accessible. I'm not really aware or thinking about themes as I'm writing. I, you know, afterward I can talk about it if pressed, but I, I, I'm not thinking that this is all some kind of continual conversation that I'm having. I'm just, I'm just trying to make the next movie. I'll sort of ruthlessly draw from everything. I'll be out with friends and somebody will say something and it will suddenly click, oh, that's good for what I'm working on, or my friends now know this and have, have to make kind of peace with it. Um, you know, when I was working on Squid and the Whale, it was a story actually a friend of mine had told me about how he had pretended to have written a song. In his case, it was a Who song. In the movie, it was a Pink Floyd song. And that, I didn't do that, but it felt so much like something that could have come from my childhood or could have come from the story I was writing. So I asked him if I could use it because, you know, and, and, and in a way, by the time I'd finished writing the movie, it might as well have been mine. It didn't matter anymore. Once I start directing, I'm more ruthless than I could ever be at home. And when, then when I'm editing, which is, you know, sort of a continuation of directing, I'm even more ruthless and, and uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm generally the one saying to my editor, do we even need that? Let's just get rid of that line or whatever. And she's usually the one defending the writer. Sometimes I watch, I'll see a great movie and I'll think like, God, they really, they, they were able to do something tell a kind of really human story but in a genre form and I'm thinking like why do you keep trying to tell a human story in a just straightforwardly semi-realistic way <laughs> you know it seems so much easier to make everything a metaphor um, I'm not doing it because I don't want to do the other it's really because it's the way I feel like it's how I see things it comes out this way and if I could somehow translate it to space or, you know, Gotham City or something, I, I, I would love to do that. I really would. I would love to try to do that. But up until now, I, I haven't sort of, you know, found a way that, that you know, feels, I guess, authentic or that I, that I feel like I could communicate effectively and that other people can do those kind of movies better than I can. The circumstances of making a first movie, I feel, are very different now than when I was 24 because I, you know, there was, technology has made it a whole different thing. I mean, if I made that movie, Kicking and Screaming, if I made it now, I would have shot it on digital and made it with, totally with my friends and totally off the grid. Another thing that's changed actually since I made the movie is I feel like there's more transparency or, se you know, at least seemingly transparency about how to approach getting financing or there are more independent elements than there used to be and and I mean my advice really would be the same uh, essentially the same thing which which I ended up doing which is just go do it under you know by any means necessary do it find a way to make your movie because that's you know if you wait around asking for permission you know you may not get the opportunity <laughs>